Hi, my name is Arnel Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the WordPress plugin Better Search Replace. And we're going to go ahead and load the plugin. So here I am in the dashboard as an administrator. And then I'm going to go to the plugin section. And I'm going to click on Add New. In Add New, I'm going to click on Search Plugins in the top right hand corner. And I'm searching for Better Search Replace. And you'll see it appear here, Better Search Replace. And there's an option for Install Now. I'm going to click on that. And then it'll say Activate Plugin. And I'm going to select that as well. And it's installed pretty quick. You can see it says a small plugin for running a search or replace on your WordPress database. Note that this is the free version of the plugin. There is a pro version which has many more features. When you do install the plugin, when you look in the tools section, you'll see better search and replace here. So we're going to look at the tool and show you how it works. You can see we still have the Better Search Replace plugin loaded right now. And the option you can see right now, we're on the Search and Replace tab. And as you can see, there is the option here to type in Search For and then Replace With. The nice thing here is that it also allows you to select the tables that you need to search for. So if you're only searching for post, post data and you were looking for the WP Post table, you can select that table and only select the text within that table and replace it. Notice the case sensitive option here. If you check that, then if you're searching and you type in a lowercase or an uppercase, then the search will be case sensitive and recognize the difference between words that are capitalized or not. The next option lets you skip GUID columns within the database. And then the final option is pretty handy. If you want to do a search and replace and not commit the actual results, or you want to do a dry, kind of a dry run, then you want to use this option. This option lets you find the results and then check the results before you actually commit them. In the settings page, you'll see the max page size. This is used when you're having timeouts with your server and you're seeing that it's affecting the performance of your server. You can help the server performance by reducing the number. So here I'm going to show you an example of using the Better Search Replace plugin. And I'm going to go ahead and look for some text in several posts and replace it. I'm going to go ahead and, and search for the word texting. And I'm going to replace it with the word testing. And I know that they're all in the post table, so I'm going to go ahead and select the post table. And then I'm going to make this a dry run. So I click on this option as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Run Search Replace. So here you can see the dry run says that one tables were searched, eight cells were found that need to be updated, and zero changes were made. So this is basically telling you that it has found the word in eight cells, but has not made any changes. It's also telling you that it's only searched one table. If you click on the link that they provided for more details, you can see that it tells you what table that it searched, the WP underscore posts. It found the changes that it needs to make at eight, and the rows updated currently right now are zero. It also tells you how long it took to run the search. So if I go ahead and uncheck the dry run, and then I run the search replace again, it'll tell you that it found the same values, eight cells to be changed, and made eight updates. And you can click on here for more details. And you can see that it again made the changes in the WP posts table. And eight changes were found, eight rows were updated. If we go back and look at one of the posts where I know the edit had occurred, I can look here and I can see that the word texting is now testing. Thanks again for watching this video tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you in the comments so that we know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.
Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.